Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Morning Wrestling. I am your host, Wes Lynn, and kicking off today's show for the YouTube Championship chosen by you in the community tab. Jake Roberts defends in a tables match against King Kong Bundy. And Jake Roberts still trying to become the first ever double champion. Needs to hold on to this title until Christmas Day where he gets a shot against the British Bulldog. And Jake Roberts taking an early head in this match. Stomping away at King Kong Bundy's arm. And this is King Kong Bundy's debut in Sunday Morning Wrestling. He thanks you all for choosing him to take on Roberts. Giving him the opportunity to be the YouTube champion. And now as he stretches out. Jake Roberts got that leg hooked with his other knee. And Roberts does get out of it in the end. King Kong Bundy flips him off of him. Now both men back up. Jake Roberts ties him up. Takes him over the top. And there goes Bundy over the top rope. And Jake Roberts just taking a moment. Jake the Snake. He knows he has a title match in just a couple of weeks. I mean it might be best for him not to be champion. Get some rest before the match. But then he will be able to become the first ever double champion. King Kong Bundy takes him up, ties him up, gets him up. Look at that, throwing Jake Roberts over the top rope with ease. And Bundy folding the table up and then just throwing it aside for some reason. As Bundy makes the slow walk around the ring, Jake Roberts chasing him, running after King Kong Bundy. Now as he gets there, he slows down and Bundy able to pick up the other table. But Jake Roberts hitting him from behind, hits a big backdrop and that is a show of strength from Jake Roberts now Roberts going for a wonder too both these men not paying much attention to what's going on Jake Roberts looking for the table I believe and then ties up with Bundy on the outside look at the strength of Jake Roberts but Bundy fights his way down not up there for long as Bundy has Roberts up on the shoulder Maybe looking to charge him into the barricade. The people best watch out as Jake Roberts back crashes against that steel barricade. He might have broken him in half. And now Bundy stretching out Roberts yet again. Bundy really working on Roberts. Roberts sits on him, gets off though. Bundy back up to his feet. Roberts back up to his. Jake Roberts picking up the ladder. Bundy climbing into the ring and then Roberts chucking the table aside I'm pretty sure I just said ladder I did mean table this is not a ladder match Bundy went for the running power so Jake Roberts takes him down with a Russian leg sweep now Roberts waiting for him to get back up to the ring short arm clothesline taking him off his feet and now Roberts back to the outside Bundy is down Jake Roberts bringing the table back into the ring will he have time to say it up Bundy kind of in the way laying on it and now Roberts trying to set up the table. Bundy's up and behind him though, and the table folds in on itself. And King Kong Bundy has Roberts up again into the turnbuckle across the ring. Well, this is a tough, tough bout for Jake Roberts as King Kong Bundy has the table and just spins around with it, doing a little dance with the table on the outside. And Jake Roberts ties him up and back into the ring. Bundy goes. Jake Roberts in charge of this match so far going for the DDT but you've got to put him through that table to win this match now Jake Roberts picking the table back up as he sets the table up now can he get Bundy up and through that table taking him to it now you got to lift him and put him through smashing his head against it not going to be enough Gut punch, chop, right hand ties him up again. Whips him into the table. Kick to the midsection, not enough. Jake Roberts, you've got to put him through the table. King Kong Bundy slips out. Nice kick to the midsection from Bundy. And Bundy double handed chokes him. If he turned him around, he could have chucked him straight through that table. And that's how quickly this match could be won by Bundy. As he picks Roberts up. And look at this, Bundy with a power. Puts Jake Roberts through the table. And Jake Roberts is not going to become the first ever double champion in Sunday morning wrestling. As King Kong Bundy is the new YouTube champion. And you guys get to choose his first 
title defense in the community tab right now so make sure you head over there and pick your option King Kong Bundy the new YouTube champion I mean you gotta think Jake Roberts had the better of that match but King Kong Bundy that's all you gotta do in a tables match get them through that table And next up, guys, here comes the three-peat of Eddie Guerrero, Shawn Michaels. They are one a piece at the moment. Eddie Guerrero thinks he can get the upper hand again over Michaels, but Michaels did get the win last week. Let's see how this match goes. Referee rings the bell. Guerrero with a kick to the midsection. Nice overhand right, big lefts and rights here from Eddie Guerrero. Lovely drop kick taking Shawn Michaels off his feet. Now Guerrero slamming Michael's head against the mat, gets back up, picking Michael's back up to his feet again. Big chop, kick to leg, another big chop, takes him down. Nice elbow to the back of the head. And now Eddie Guerrero, tied him up, got him in a head, scissors. Now HBK does get back up. Misses the stomp, Eddie Guerrero back up to his feet. Eddie Guerrero having the better start of this match. Guerrero kicks him in the abdomen, picks Sean back up, ties him up again. Over the top rope, Sean goes. Eddie Guerrero misses the right hand. Does hit that one though. And springboard over the top. DDT onto the apron. And what a maneuver from Eddie Guerrero. Big drop kick to the back of the neck of Sean Michaels. Now Eddie Guerrero picking Michaels back up. Ties him up. Northern Light suplex on the outside. And a big boot to the lower back of Michaels. Now uh, Eddie Guerrero all over him. Michaels slips out the back though, takes out the knee, ties up Eddie. Jawbreaker from Michaels to Eddie Guerrero. Now raking out that arm of Eddie, gets back up to his feet. Michaels picking Eddie up. They're both on the outside. Four count. Michaels sends Guerrero back in the ring. And Michaels does come back in. Eddie Guerrero rolls under though. Wants nothing still. No, he does. He does want something to do with him. He's getting back in now. Eats a couple of right hands from Sean Michaels. Nice forearm. A flying forearm through the sky. Kicks up. Is that enough to put Eddie Guerrero away? Not quite. Uh, Guerrero kicks out at two. Michaels couldn't quite believe it now. Michaels tuning up the band. Sweet chin. Music, can he connect? Yes, he can. He's knocked him down. Can he get the three? And he does. Sean Michaels. Another impressive victory over Eddie Guerrero. Nice victory there for Michaels. Two to one now for these two. I'm sure Eddie Guerrero is going to want to have another pop at him. Maybe a best out of five between these two. Lovely super kick. Sweet chin music taking Guerrero off his feet for the three count. And Michaels getting the better of Guerrero. I mean, even in Guerrero's first win, Michaels did have his foot on the rope. The referee just did not see it. So Michaels should be three for three right now, really. But that's not what it looks like. And next up, guys, we have an absolute banger of a match. The Ultimate Warrior versus Macho Man Randy Savage. Now the Warrior's ready. Macho Man making his way to the ring. Macho Man, a former champion. So is the Warrior. Now I don't think the Macho Man wants to go up against his old buddy, British Bulldog. But maybe he does. Maybe he does want to work his way back up there. It is the grandest prize of them all. Does it matter if your friend's holding the belt? I'm not sure it does. Now the Ultimate Warrior in charge of Macho Man. Picks him up. Spinning forearm. Takes him down. Discus punch. Nice elbow drop to follow up. And now the Warrior off the middle row misses the splash absolutely nowhere near him did not need to jump off that second rope and the warrior taking him up for a pile driver lovely pile driver 
And Macho Man is hurting. Macho Man been out for a long time. He lost the belt. He did participate in the anniversary Rumble 2. But this is the first one-on-one -on -one action we've seen him in in a very long time as the Warrior takes him over the top rope, misses the right hand, hits the second right, and now stuns him off that top rope to the outside. And the Warrior off the top rope going high risk to the outside. Big elbow drop from the top turnbuckle to the outside. That extra four foot makes all the difference. Taking Macho Man up, lovely suplex. Referee has started his count. And both these men, veterans of the game. And the Warrior really working on Macho Man. On the outside, kick to the midsection, another kick. Nice chop kick again. Not a lovely elbow from the Macho Man. And in comes the Warrior. Takes him up, lovely suplex again on the outside. Referee currently on a five count. Another elbow drop to the outside and this match has all been the ultimate warrior. Macho Man yet to get a foothold in this match. And the warrior makes his way into the ring. The warrior does break the count. I think he would have got a count out win there if it just left him to it. Big headbutt takes Macho Man down. Macho Man stomping on the arm. I mean, the Warrior stomping on Macho Man's arm. And now the Warrior back up to his feet. Referee at a two count. The Warrior gets back into the ring. Taking a breather as Macho Man stumbling on the outside. Macho Man shaking it off. Looking to come back into the ring, but too slow. And the Warrior does eventually throw him in the ring. But then the Warrior... Taking his time going around the ring. Macho Man back up to his feet. Nice jab from the Macho Man. A hook. Gut wrench suplex over the top. Picking the Warrior back up to his feet. And look at this. Big power slam from the Macho Man. Just the two count though. The Warrior putting up a good fight and here he goes looking for the elbow off the top macho man randy savage hits the elbow and is that all she wrote is this one over no the warrior kicking out at two unbelievable scenes here nice elbow to the face and now macho man feeling his groove stomping away at the Warrior, wrenching the neck back, really working that knee into the lower back of the Warrior. Warrior does slip out of it though, Macho Man still in control, ties him up, breaks the eyes, big right hand takes him off his feet. Now Macho Man going back up to the top looking for another elbow drop. Hits the second elbow drop, gets the cover, and surely this is it now. Surely that's the three, and it is Macho Man with the victory. Hard for well earned victory for Macho Man. Randy Savage, and he's back in Sunday morning wrestling. He is back to winning ways. A great victory over the Warrior. And next up, guys, we have a women's championship match as Akira takes on Misty Blue. Akira absolutely dominant in last week's six-woman battle royale. Can she dominate the champion today, though? That is the question. Referee rings the bell. Misty Blue goes straight in. Akira ties a roll. Half and half suplex takes her over. Akira going to the top rope straight away, going high risk out the gate. Look at that, 450 lands. She's not going for the cover. Oh, she is going for the cover early doors. Can Misty Blue kick out? She can, just a two can. And I thought Akira had stole a quick one there from Misty Blue. I thought we were going to see a new women's champion. 
here a bite in the hand the referee really should be doing something about this that is not the kind of stuff we like to see in Sunday morning wrestling but it's the third time she's done it and a fourth time referee doing nothing here and I think Akira stuck on repeat because she keeps going to those fingers and then Misty Blue finally gets up to her feet but Akira ties her up takes her over nice kick to the chest Akira picking Misty Blue up ties her up over the top rope she goes nice right hand out to the outside backdrop on the ring apron the hardest part of the ring and then biting those fingers again remember guys no count outs in championship matches here in Sunday morning wrestling Akira picking Misty Blue up Akira backing off Probably not a smart thing to do to the champion. Misty Blue ties her up. Spanish fly on the outside. And then a moonsault. That was definitely not a good decision by Akira to leave her to rest up on the outside. Recover a little bit. Code breaker to the chest. Pulling the leg out of the joint. Nice kick around the head from Akira though. Akira trying to get back into this one. She knows she made a mistake. Still going to those fingers. She definitely loves that move a little bit too much as Misty Blue gets back up to her feet. Misty Blue picking her up. Misty Blue getting back in the ring. That's where she wants this fight. She does not want it on the outside. Taking too long, taunts in the corner and Akira takes her head off with a clothesline. Stomping on the chest of Misty Blue. Now she's got an armbar locked in. Can Misty Blue hang on the referee looking in totally the wrong position there? Just being a pervert. He's never going to see if she's tapping out from that angle. And that is why Akira let go in the end. Driver on her head. Goes for the cover. Is it enough? No, it's a rope break. Akira picking her back up to her feet. Misty Blue hits the jawbreaker. Kick to the leg. Ties her up. Akira in trouble now. Misty Blue with a super kick, I believe. Runs against the ropes. Handstand. Springboard. Splash. Just the two count. Misty Blue can't believe that the one move she's done in this whole match didn't get her the victory. Up to the top she goes. Big splash off the top rope. Is that enough to put her away for the three count? No, Akira kicks out yet again. Misty Blue having a go at the referee. The referee just confused. Doesn't know what's going on. Misty Blue stomps on the elbow of Akira. Picks Akira back up to her feet. Ducks under, head scissors, Horan Kumrana takes her down. Springboard moonsault for the pin, for the win, maybe. In it is, that's enough to get the victory for Misty Blue. She stays champion. Akira really worked on the one hand of Misty Blue, and that obviously was never going to be enough to become the new women's champion and Misty Blue coming out on top with a springboard with a moonsault absolutely on fire since she's been champion another great win under her belt and she has every right to be happy guys referee hands her her title and she can show it off to the world Next up, guys, we have a little champion on champion action. British Bulldog versus the big boss man in an exhibition match. Bulldog did take this match thinking he was going to have to face Jake Roberts as the YouTube champion. But as we've seen, Roberts lost that earlier on today. So here we go, guys. Referee rings the bell. British Bulldog tying boss man up, takes him into the corner, ties boss man up. Nice gut punch. Takes him down for a Bulldog out the corner. 
Bulldog picking him back up. Ties Bossman up. Face Buster into the mat. And the British Bulldog in control of this match early on. Play into the crowd. Goes for the cover. I don't think you're going to beat the Intercontinental Champion that easily. And we don't. It's only a two count. Uh, Bulldog goes against the ropes. Drops the leg onto Bossman. Bulldog going up high. Big splash off the top. And Bossman yet to do anything in this match. The world heavyweight champion in control as he turns Bossman over. And now Bossman with the elbow fighting back against the Bulldog. Running DDT. The Bossman stomping away at the Bulldog. Now wrenching the Bulldog back out. Making him squeal like a pig. And Bulldog gets back to his feet. Boss man, bear hug slam. Sorry, not boss man slam. Bear hug slam. And is that enough to put away the champion? No, it's not. Boss man in disbelief. He can't believe he didn't beat the champion with that one move. Now he goes back up to the top. Big splash off the top. And that hits different. Because that is a 300 pound man coming off that top rope and landing square on top of you. Now big boss man taking it to the Bulldog. Boss man showing off now. Now boss man looking for the boss man slab. No, in it. Bulldog reverses it. Looks like he's going for the bear hug slam instead. Bulldog go out of the way, hits the crossbody and takes boss man down. Bulldog circling him, Bulldog picking him up for the running power slam and that is the strength of the British Bulldog takes him down, gets the leg hooked, is this enough? Not quite Big Boss Man kicking out at two and here we go, Bulldog picks him up again, the fans chanting they're not worthy and the strength of Bulldog here, having him up on his shoulders, walking him across the ring and laying him on that top turnbuckle. And here's Bulldog stomping a mud hole into Big Boss Man. And then a big kick to the lower back of Boss Man as well. And now looking for a second running power slam. And surely once this is hit, there is no coming back. Boss Man shaking his head. Bulldog hits the running power slam goes for the cover and that my friends is all she wrote the three count the champion coming out on top good effort from the big boss man but not good enough British Bulldog reigning supreme over this division he will have to face Jake Roberts on Christmas Day though can he keep up this form And it is time for the main event of the morning. Harlem Heat challenging the Heart Foundation for the SMW Tag Team Championships. The Heart Foundation been on a good run recently. They've not, I mean, they did lose to Harlem Heat two weeks ago. And that is how this match has come about. Harlem Heat believe they can beat them in tag action. But is that the case? When the titles are on the line, can they do it when it matters? And Stevie Ray going straight in with a clubbing blow to the back of Neidhart. Taking Neidhart over with a reverse power slam. Now big boot to the lower back of Neidhart as well. And Stevie Ray trying to rip the arm out of the socket of Neidhart. Stevie Ray going to the top rope. Off the top with the elbow drop. Stevie Ray picking Neidhart, big chops to the chest, Neidhart ducks under, nice right, nice left, taking him down, kick to the face, nice punch to the tricep and then taking him down with a power, and Neidhart in control now, Neidhart making a tag to Brett, and the hitman has entered the ring. That is not what Harlem Heat wanted really, they want to keep Jim Neidhart in the ring on his own. And look at this, Bret Hart going absolutely mad on Stevie Ray. Kick to the 
back and Bret Hart in control, drop the knee, misses. Nice back chop from Stevie Ray, takes him up. Spine buster from Stevie Ray, goes for the cover. Is it enough? No, it's not, just a one count. Stevie Ray makes a tag to Booker T. Booker T, the fresh man, comes in the ring, misses the chop. Bret Hart back out of it, and then Bret Hart hits a running bulldog on Booker T. Bret Hart, multiple time champion in Sunday morning wrestling. Former world champion, tag team champion, he's done it all. And then flat jacking Booker T into the mat, drops the elbow square on his nose. And Booker T in trouble. Neidhart picks him up, ties him up, taking him to the corner. Looking to make a tag to Brett. No, he's not. Takes Booker up top. Taking him over. What's Neidhart got in store here? Superplex, maybe. He's got him up. He's holding him there. But Booker T slips off the back and takes the leg out of Neidhart. Smashing his face against that turnbuckle. Now Booker T taking him up and over for a suplex. Booker T makes the tag to Stevie Ray, but Neidhart makes the tag to Brett. And Brett comes running over, gets hit with a powerful spine buster driving Brett into the mat. And Stevie Ray turns Brett around. Brett slips off the back, ties him up. Taking Stevie Ray up, up and over for a suplex. Lovely stuff from Brett Hart. Bret Hart tying him up from behind again. Back suplex to Stevie Ray this time. And the technician is in town. Doing work on Stevie Ray. Brett makes the tag to Jim. Jim comes in the ring. Brett probably should have stayed in, I think. And there's that powerful spine buster again. Both Brett and Jim running into that spine buster both times. And Brett makes the break. Only a two count, but then... Stevie Ray turning him around. Stevie Ray getting Brett up on his shoulders. Samoan driver. And there goes Brett to the outside. This is the chance for Harlem Heat. Have they got enough? Why well, Brett's down and out on the outside. Takes Neidhart to the corner. Tags in. Booker T smashes his head into the boot. And is this enough, guys? Have they got it in their tank? Jim Neidhart kicks him off of him. And I think that might have been Harlem Heat's opportunity to win the tag titles. And now Neidhart, oh no, Booker T slips out the back. Booker T clubbing blow to the back, scissor kick takes him down. Bret Hart still nowhere to be seen. Booker T with the coverage, this it. Have they got the win? Yes, they have. Harlem Heat are the new SMW Tag Team Champions. And well deserved. Well deserved. Took Bret Hart out. They knew what they had to do and they did it. Bret Hart taking out the game. Booker T with a scissor kick on Jim. Knocking his teeth out. Gets the victory. Thank you for tuning in to Sunday Morning Wrestling. Don't forget to like the episode. Subscribe. Hit that notification button. I've been your host Wes Lynn and we'll see you right here. Same time, same place next week on Sunday Morning Wrestling.